Get wisdom. Seek understanding. Solomon, in the book of Proverbs, repeatedly talks about the value of wisdom. He encourages his son to seek it fully. Solomon knew what he was talking about because when he was given a choice by God to ask for whatever he wished, Solomon chose wisdom. And because of that, God also gave him great wealth and long life. Wisdom is a great thing to have. Solomon says it's more desirable than gold or rubies, and that wisdom is something that's so precious that we should be seeking it continuously. In fact, the Bible says that that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and I want to encourage you to have a context for thinking about life that encourages you to honor God in a way that allows you to look for his ways, to seek for his design in all of your experiences and in all of creation. I believe that you can get knowledge from books, but wisdom comes through suffering. You can learn through your own suffering and mistakes, or you can learn from others who have been down that path. Wisdom is a delight. What it costs you, it's something you have to be intentional about. James one says that if we ask for wisdom, God will give it generously and without reproaching. Let your life be blessed by the value of wisdom. Ask God to increase your understanding. Ask him to help you ask the right questions so that you gain wisdom and understanding. Above all, put God first in your heart. Let him be your teacher and your guide and give him your praise and your devotion. Let your mind always be toward him. David says in the Psalms, I put you always before me. I rejoice in the one who gives me counsel. So look for God today and let him be your light. I love you.